This video is about adding polynomials. So let's say you're asked to find quantity 8x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5x plus 3 plus quantity 4x cubed minus 2x plus 2. So what's happening here is you're adding not just the 4x cubed to the first expression, but that this entire expression should be added to the first expression. What separates these two expressions is this plus sign. So this plus sign has to be distributed to each of these terms in the second expression. And when you do that, it would be just like multiplying a positive sign to each of these um, exp uh, terms. So positive times positive, positive, positive times, in this case, we're gonna take the minus sign as the sign of two x, positive times negative is still negative, positive times positive is positive. So what we really only have to do is to copy the entire thing minus their grouping symbols. So I'm just going to copy the first expression, except I don't have to write the grouping symbol or the parentheses. And then I will add that first expression to the second expression, but this time I don't have to write the parentheses since when I distribute that plus sign, the signs of each of these terms will stay the same. So I'll have 4x cubed minus 2x plus 2. From here, all I need to do is to combine the like terms. Now when we say like terms, these are the terms with the same variables. Now when we say same variables, that means same letter and same exponent. For example, 8x cubed and 4x cubed are like terms because they both have x cubed. 8x cubed and 3x squared are not like terms because this term only has x squared while this term has x cubed. So the exponents and the letters have to be the same. Anyway, these two are like terms, so I will combine them. I have to keep in mind though the rule in adding integers Okay, when I'm combining like terms. 8x cubed is positive, 4x cubed is also positive, so all I need to do is add them. 4 plus 8 is 12, so I will have 12x cubed. What else can I combine? Well, I can combine 5x and 2x, but since there's a minus sign in front of 2x, I will take that minus sign as the sign of 2x, so I will combine positive 5x and negative 2x. Again, think about this as combining 5 and negative 2. The signs are different, so I will subtract their absolute values. So I'll have 5 minus 2 is 3. Copy the variable. And then I will copy the sign of the number with the higher absolute value. Between 5 and negative 2, 5 has a higher absolute value, so therefore, I will have positive 3x. I can also combine positive 3 and positive 2 because although they don't have variables written right next to them, they're both constant terms, and I can combine constant terms. So 3 plus 2. Again, it's just like combining um, integers with the same sign, so we'll simply add them since the signs are the same. 3 plus 2 is 5, so I'll have plus 5. Now, negative 3x squared will stay the same because I did not have to combine it with anything. I don't see any other terms that has x squared in it. Now, you can leave your answer this way, but please pay attention to your teacher's instruction. Some of them like the exponents to be arranged from um, uh, the greatest to the least. So if your teacher is very specific about that, then you can write your answer as 12x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x plus 5. So this is the final answer. I hope that helps. Please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or clarifications. Thank you very much for watching.